Hello, Nana and Grandad. Happy 60th wedding anniversary! We're the, uh, the Field family from country Victoria, and as you can see, our family has grown since the last time we met. Uh, but we thought we'd just do a quick introduction of each one of us. So, I'm Stephen. I'm Ruth. I'm Grace. I'm the awesomest I'm one of all justice. I'm, I'm Felicity. So, hello, I'm Richard. I'm Hello, I'm Caleb. I'm Dylan. And so, hello, I'm Liberty. I'm Liberty. <laughs> we're sorry that, 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 that we're not able to be with you there on your special day, but we just pray God's richest blessing on you. Now, what, what's going to come up now is each of the kids are going to say their own, own little, their own little uh, hellos, and then we'll catch up with you in a few minutes. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm in grade five, and I'm 10 years old. My hobbies are dancing, drawing, reading, and knitting. My favourite subject at school is art, and what I do here at board is piano, guides, and oh, tennis. A tennis. Um, have a happy 60th anniversary, and may God bless you on this day. Hi, I'm Justice Stephen Field, and I am the second oldest child. Um, I am nine years old and I am in grade four and me and Grace are in a composite class because Grace is in grade five so we're in a four five class and my hobbies are my hobbies are like cricket, tennis, um, football and playing the piano. Um, what I do up here is all those which I said, and I also do scouts, which um, is pretty exciting. Um, last week we did fishing, and yeah, um, may God bless you on this day, and happy 60th wedding anniversary. Hello, I'm Felicity, and I'm in grade one. So hello, my name is Richard. My name is Richard. How old are you, Richard? Four. You're four. And do you go to kinder? Yes. Do you like kinder? Yes. You do Mommy, like kinder. What's your favourite sport? Tennis and cricket. Tennis and cricket. Okay. And footy. You like footy? Can you say happy anniversary? being a bit shy today. This is Caleb. He's almost three. He'll be three in November. And he loves cars and playing cricket and footy. Don't you? You like cricket and footy? Yeah? And he'd like to say happy 60th wedding anniversary. Okay, bye. <laughs> Now this is Liberty, she's our number six baby, and she is 15 months old. You say hello. Liberty likes playing with her brothers and sisters, and especially likes being looked after by her big sister Grace. Say happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> we also have baby number seven on the way. Um, baby number seven is due in February. We're not sure if it's a girl or a boy, so we'll let you know when it comes. Um, I've been enjoying my time here in Bort. I teach CRE at the local primary school, that's Christian Religious Education. I've been teaching Felicity's class, which has been quite a joy to do. I am also involved in the ladies' Bible study. Um, and Sunday school. 
I guess that's my turn now, that's my cue. Um, yes, yeah, Steve, Stephen here, we, uh, we moved up here in early February, I took up a position as the pastor of Bort Baptist Church, and it's been a wonderful church for our family and a wonderful community for our family as well, and we're certainly seeing, even though it's the first year, we're, we're certainly seeing signs of God's goodness and God's grace to each one of us. Um, it's, it's great to be part of, a, of such a strong church community in, in such a small town, and, uh, and there are certainly many blessings that come from that. We're, uh, we're obviously here as a family to say hello. It's, it's a shame that, that we're not able to be there face to face and we'd like to be able to meet up with you face to face sometime soon. But uh, in the meantime, God bless you all. And, um, and as a final piece of video, um, I'd like to actually show you, I was ordained about a month ago and I'd actually like to show you my, uh, my ordination speech as part of that, uh, of that service. So uh, that should be following uh, th this bit here. And then after that, God bless you all. Hi. On behalf of the uh, Bort Baptist Congregation of Barraport and Bort, I present Stephen Field. Uh, he is serving among us and we thank God for his ministry and it is a pleasure that we commend him uh, to the wider church to be ordained as a pastor. Thanks, Steve. Stephen, come and tell us of the work of grace in your life and of God's calling of you to ministry. Thank you, Alan, and thank you, John. <clears throat> Today is the celebration of the end of a long journey. In my case, it's been 19 years since I first uh, sensed the call of God to pastoral ministry, and God, by his grace, has used those years as a time of shaping and developing, challenging, confronting, and preparing me for the ministry he has now led me into. I remember first hearing that call. I remember questioning it. I remember even running away from it. You see, my father was and is a pastor. I am a pastor's kid. It gets better. His father was also a pastor. I am a pastor's grandkid. And many in my extended family were and are active in church and ministry as pastors, leaders and missionaries. I'm a pastor's nephew. <laughs> when the family would get together, you weren't always sure if you were at a family gathering or a pastor's retreat. The things I learned about church politics while sitting at the family dinner table has helped to prepare me for any ministry situation. <laughs> and so when I first heard the call of God to pastor a ministry, I wasn't sure if I was actually hearing the call of God or if what I was hearing was the call to the family business. <laughs> but this was the journey God had to take me on. Through my family, God was challenging me to pay attention and learn from the experiences of those around me. And God was also teaching me that his call is unique for each person. And that it was vitally important that I learn how to hear his call, hear his voice for myself. I love God's word, words to Jeremiah in our reading today. God says, now I have put my words into your mouth. God's desire is that he speak through each of us. God's call on each of us is that we be the carriers of his word into the world around us. But how God speaks through us will be as different and varied as the persons and personalities that God has made us to be. Let us each listen for God's unique call on us. So, so we can each become a unique expression of his word into the world around us. Today marks the end of a journey, but today also marks the beginning of a new journey. I've, I, I do have the privilege now of being the pastor at Bort Baptist Church, and if God is gracious, I look forward to many years of ministry ahead. And as I walk the road God would place before me, my prayer is that I would remain teachable so I can continue to learn from those around me. And my prayer is that I would remain faithful to God's call on me so that I might continue to be one of his unique voices, speaking his word into the world around us. Thank you. <laughs>